Hi, welcome to Conversations with Carissa. This episode, I'm going to show you how I styled my table, you guys. I'm so excited to share with you and very pleased um, of the outcome. But before I get into the video, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. I hope you guys will get some ideas from my display, okay? And don't forget to give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and leave some positive comments as well, okay? I'll see you on the other side. I'm using the same garland um, I use for the fall tablescape. I am adding a little bit more greenery uh, just to give it a little bit more character. I won't be using a lot of pits uh, on this garland um, because the items that I will be using on the table will be just enough.
three table mats for layering. I love these colors and the shapes or what have you, and I just figured I'd try something a little different this time. Usually I layer my um, chargers, and so now I've stepped out of the box and started layering my table mat. These chargers I got from Hobby Lobby a while back, um, maybe a couple of years or so, but they still carry these exact same chargers, you guys. I can't remember exactly how much I uh, paid for them. And of course, I am layering. I recently picked up these plates and um, from Walmart. They are so cute, you guys. You may not be able to see it, but the trimming on, on the plates are gold and the writing is gold as well. It is such a beautiful uh, plate setting. Uh, I think that's what you call it, plate setting. But it's really pretty, and um, I didn't—I can't remember exactly how much I paid for them, but I got those at Walmart. Your table setting is not complete without dear napkin rings, you guys. <laughs> you know I was going to have them out somewhere. Somewhere I was going to have them. I got those. Um, napkin rings from I think it was home good a few years back um, I'm not quite sure exactly how much I paid for them but you can they I've seen them all over so you shouldn't have any problems in, in locating them When you're setting your silverware, your spoon and your knife is placed on the right with your knife blade facing the plate and closer to the plate. Your forks are placed on the left with your main fork closer to the plate and your salad fork on the outside of your main fork. Your glassware is always placed on the right. I think I did it again you guys another elegant table I am very very pleased by the outcome and the colors you guys I am loving how those colors are complementing each other 
Um, as you can see, I am really into the glass this year. Um, if you watched my uh, tablescape for Thanksgiving, for the fall, I had a ball that um, gave me stars in the daytime. And so I was loving it so much to where I had to go out and find me another glass ball that will give me the same results. And I tell you, the weather hasn't been cooperating, but you know, when it does, it it, it pops out those stars, you guys. And I'm gonna show you a little further in the uh, video where you're gonna see some stars. But I love the way the table turned out. It is just so beautiful, it's elegant. I have to really pat myself uh, on the back because I think I really did a really good job. I hope you all feel the same way too. And I also hope that you're able to get to gain some ideas from the tablescape. So here we are, here are the stars. This is what I was waiting for. The sun was kind of in and out today and I really wanted to go ahead and get this video out to you guys and hopefully you're able to gain some ideas uh, from this table uh, setting you see. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel you guys. Please do that for me and also drop a comment and let me, let me know what your thoughts are. Positive comments, okay? Here are my dears, you know they're gonna be out. They're gonna be out in several areas of the house, you guys. And this table setting is just beautiful at any time of the day. So until next time, take care, be blessed, and have a wonderful holiday. <music>